What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and this is your girl Spice. Today we are going to make a do-it-yourself wine and we just bought this wine making kit from Water and Wine store here in Stellarton. So this is it. Um, it's the wine making kit and it's going to make Pinot Grigio wine and it says it has um, four liters. It can make five bottles and like I don't know maybe one fourth or almost half of the bottle and this cost um, $29.99 or $30 a box so we got two and uh, so we got this from Water and Wine here in Stellarton and this is the same store where we had our wine made for our wedding and so there are instructions on the side of the box and there also, there's also a video on YouTube talking about how it's done. Uh, it depends on what works for you. If you want to read instructions or if you want to see a video, it's just on a video format instructions. So there you go, Pinot Grigio. So my wife is here to help me with that and she's going to show you how it's done. Um, starting today, it takes three weeks in total mm -hmm. before we're able to, I guess, try it. Yeah. And then... For today, we do what we do, and then it's 11 days until we touch it again. Okay, let's get started. So what we're doing tonight um, is we're making a wine kit. Uh, today, after I was done working, um, went over to Water and Wine, and I already pre-purchased it, so they just left at the door for me, and I was able to pick it up and take it. With everything going on with COVID-19 uh, so we decided just to try this out and it takes three weeks to make it um, usually we buy our wine from water and wine and like a box and it turns out to be something like five dollars or a little bit more than five dollars per bottle so it's a really good deal and really good for summer times but they're not doing that right now with um, the health risks so we decided to try something ourselves uh, so the first thing I have to do is I have to open up the box and take everything out. This probably is going to be difficult. So there's some different packets here and then the instructions I think are there. Um, this is what the wine will go into. Here's all the juice here, so I think I gotta take this and move it into this one, but I guess we'll see. Hmm. More pieces, so let's uh, take a look. I'm just gonna try to separate everything. Number one, take all the contents in your box, take them out. So we did that. So that part is done. Um, it also says remove the red plastic ring and foil from the spigot of the fermenting bag. All right, this is the one right here. Bag with the line across it. That's the one. Uh, this will make it easier to dispense the wine into your serving bag on the last day. So this is the serving bag. So once it's all done, it gets moved from here to this one. And we put it back in the box and then it can be served from there. All right, so step one is done. We did that. Step two, cut the corner of the wine making juice bag and carefully pour it into here so it goes from here into this and then we need to add cool tap water to the fill line doesn't look like a good color <laughs> Like a year in. Really bad one, I think. <laughs> now the bentonite and the yeast. 
it says for us to leave this for 11 days. So you won't be putting all of the ingredients there yet. Just the first two. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm just, uh, sorry. I just got kind of looking into the future here. <laughs> so here's the bento night, five grams. And now the yeast. Tighten the cap and shake well. You think that's well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Now that we have added the water, the yeast, and the bentonite, we're now being told that for the next 11 days, um, to start off, we're going to take the cap off. And then for 11 days, it needs to sit there with the cap just on like this. Um, it says here, so the reason why we do that, we leave it sitting there, is that the CO2 from the fermentation uh, is able to escape. So that's it for now. So we're back after 11 days of the wine sitting and fermenting. So now today we're going to add three ingredients to the wine and then let it sit for, I think, five days or so and, and then continue on with the process. Uh, so right now we're going to remove the cap from the wine and it says to start by adding the sulfate to it. And then after we add the sulfate, we need to uh, tighten the cap shake it, loosen the cap, let some of the gas out, and then repeat that so it happens five times. And then we're able to move on from there to the next step. Right. Try and remember that it's five times. So from what we can see is actually over the past 11 days, the color of the wine has changed. It was a really, really dark brown color before, but now it's starting to lighten up. So we're getting closer to what it, I guess, what it will look like when it's time. All right, so the sulfate is added. Shake it. That's once. Loosen the cap. Let the gas out. Do it again a second time. See, it's really tight there. So we'll let some of the gas out. Let's do, all right. So that was five times. So next up it says, Add the kiesel salt. I guess that's how you pronounce it, I'm not quite sure. So here it is here. And once we add this, we tighten the cap and uh, we shake it like we did before. And then we loosen the cap and we leave it for an hour. And then an hour we'll come back and we'll add another ingredient. So an hour has passed by and now we're back and we're going to add the final ingredient uh, to it. Uh, and it's, I believe, either called chitosin or chitosin. Either one, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure in the pronunciation. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to add this to the wine and then we're going to put the cap on and shake it and then loosen the cap and then retighten it. And then we'll leave it again for five days and we'll come back and it says something about flicking the side of the bag. So we'll do that in five days. But for now, um, let's 
add the last ingredient. So we'll tighten it up. We'll shake it. And then it tells us to loosen it and then to retighten the cap. And now that it's retightened, we'll leave it here for uh, five days and then we'll come back to it. All right, so today's the day and the wine is done. So I previously had taken a one fourth measuring cup and just removed that much from the bag and discarded it. And now what they want us to do is they want us to take the serving bag and remove this part right here. And once we remove it, we're going to fill it up and we will continue to fill it up until they say about five centimeters worth of wine is remaining and we can't we don't want to um unsettle the sediment that's down here because we don't want that to actually go in the wine so um, we'll leave some there and then we'll put it back in the box and it'll be ready to be served so we'll go ahead now and we'll do that All right, so we filled up the serving bag and we left the remaining amount here. Um, so we won't be drinking that, we'll just fill that out. But for now, we'll go ahead and they say we should hear a couple of clicks when we're putting it back on. There. So it clicked three times. Slide this into the box. All right, so we were able to put the wine in the serving bag and then put it through here. And now it's ready to be served. So you just have to grab your wine glass. It smells really good. So we made, again, we made a Pinot Grigio and um, yeah, so it's ready to be served. Cheers. Hmm, it's good. Tastes like the one that we buy from the store. And that's about it guys. So if you also wanna try this at home, uh, you can certainly do it. Just buy the DIY wine kit. Um, but I know that it's gonna take three weeks, but it's definitely worth the wait because this one tastes really good. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.